Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making costillitas de puerco con frijoles and salsa roja. Now these are pork ribs with beans in a delicious red sauce. This is an old Mexican traditional dish and it goes back a long ways. It is full of flavor, very easy to put together, and it's a dish that I absolutely love. And today I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. Now for this dish that I'm going to prepare, you want to make sure that you've got a nice pot of beans ready to go. This is one pound of pinto beans. You can use any kind of beans that you like. Now I added a fourth of a small onion, one large garlic clove, and I added salt about 30 minutes ago. And I'm going to let them continue to cook on real low like this for about 10 more minutes. And then I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to let them sit here until I'm ready to use them. So now that I've shown you my beans, I'm ready to start my sauce. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I have six guajillo chiles and I have removed all the seeds and the veins and they're clean and ready to go. I also have four large Roma tomatoes and I have removed the core. You don't need the core in here. And I'm going to be using four chile de arbol. Now I'm going to add these because I want a little kick in the dish. Now many of you fear these but these are very mild. They add a delicious flavor to your dish and color. And I also have a fourth of a small onion. So these are my ingredients. Now we can go to the stove. So I'm going to be using this deep saucepan and I've got some water in here and it's starting to boil. I'm going to add my tomatoes. Now as soon as the peeling starts to come off, I will remove them. I've got my comal. This is my griddle and it's nice and hot. I'm going to toast my chiles here. Now you want to do this quickly because you don't want them to burn because if you burn them then you're going to have a bitter sauce. So you want to do this real nice and quick. You want them to release their natural oil. That's where the flavor comes in. Now once you can smell them they're ready. So now I'm going to put them into my water and I'm going to put my chile de arbol here and these are also very quick. You don't want to burn these. You just want to flip them around until you see that they start to change color. Now I'm going to remove these and I'm going to put them into the water and I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to let my chile sit in the hot water until they're nice and soft before we take them to the blender. So now that my chiles are nice and soft, I'm ready to blend them. Now I'm going to add my tomatoes. I cut them in half so that'd be easier to blend. Here's my piece of onion and my chile de arbol. Now I'm going to blend them real well. Just like that. Now I'm going to pass my sauce through this sieve because I want a real smooth sauce. So I've got all my sauce passed through the sieve. You see, we don't want this in our sauce. So now that my sauce is ready, I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to go to the next step. So now that I have my sauce ready and my beans are done, I'm ready to grind my spices. So I'm going to add my peppercorn and my cumin in here. I'm going to add my three cloves and my two allspice. And I'm going to grind these up really good. So I have these nice and ground. Now I'm going to add my garlic. And I'm going to add my oregano. I'm going to cut my garlic cloves in pieces like this so that they'll be easier to grind. I'm going to add some salt. And I'm going to grind this up really good. Look at that. Now I'm going to add one third cup of water in here. And I'm going to bring it in together real well like this. This is where it's at right here for a fantastic dish. So now that I have all my spices nice and ground, I'm going to clean up my area and we're going to start with our ribs. So now that I have my beans, 
my sauce and my spices ready, I'm ready to start with my meat. I have two and a half pounds of spare ribs right here. Now the spare ribs come in a long slab like this. So I had the butcher just them straight across. And now we have short little ribs like this, see? And then I had one pound of country style ribs in the freezer and I cut them up into pieces like this. But you can use all ribs. So I'm gonna add some salt. So now that everything's well salted, we can go to the stove. So I'm gonna be using this large olla right here. I'm gonna add some water, enough water to go about halfway. So now that I have my water in here, I'm gonna wait for it to come up to a boil, then I'm gonna lower it to medium, and I'm gonna wait until all this meat is cooked and all the water has evaporated. That's why I'm not going to replace the lid. But you wanna make sure that you come and you move it around every so often so that it all cooks evenly. Now I just turned off my timer. All the water is gone and that took 45 minutes almost exactly. So now I'm gonna move them around and as you can see there's some grease that they are releasing at the bottom because after all the water is gone they start releasing their grease. If you see a lot of grease you want to remove it. You want some in here but not a lot. So now I'm gonna be moving them around just so they can get a pretty golden color. Just like this. Now it's been about four minutes and as you can see our ribs are starting to get a beautiful golden color. Now I'm going to add my onions. I have half of a small onion, julienne style like this, and I'm going to add it in here all by itself for about one minute just so that it can get a little bit translucent and it can release its flavor in here. So it's been about one minute and my onions are starting to look beautiful. Look at that. Now I'm gonna add all my spices from my molcajete. I'm gonna bring it in together for about 30 seconds so that these flavors can come in together really nicely. Oh my gosh, it smells absolutely wonderful in here. Now I'm going to add all my sauce. I'm going to add my two bay leaves. I'm going to add a little salt. Oh gosh. Now as you can see, it's starting to come up to a boil. And I want a nice, steady, low boil like that. So I'm gonna replace my lid, and I'm gonna let it cook like that for about 35 minutes. Oh, it's been exactly 35 minutes. Oh my goodness, look at this. I know everything is just so tender and perfect. Now it's time for me to add my beans. And also the broth and make it as soupy as you want. Just delicious, look at that. Now this would be a good time for you to taste it and adjust your salt. Also, you wanna make sure that your bay leaves are out of here. I already removed my bay leaves. So now I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let it simmer like that for about 10 minutes so that all the flavors can come in together. So this dish is ready. Oh my goodness, look at this.
So I have one of my corn tortillas that I just made while everything was simmering. Mmm. I'm going to show you how I like to eat it. Now I've got some nicely chopped onions and cilantro right here. I'm going to put some on top. It just goes so well together. Now it's time for the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh, this dish is out of this world. So these are my costillitas de puerco con frijoles and salsa roja. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.